All right, so to clear up some confusion around the Steam Workshop and Half-Life Alex mods, go to your Steam library and open up Half-Life Alex, and then you'll see all of these right here kind of grayed out. It could be more obvious, but either way, click on Workshop, and now you're in the Steam Workshop for Half-Life Alex. A lot of mods, like if we were to click on, say, Operator here. This one is pretty popular. Oh, that, oh wow. Oh my goodness. So this mod right here, this is just a one-part mod. If we wanted to subscribe to that, you would just hit subscribe. When you subscribe to a mod, that is the same as downloading it. The only difference is if the author ever updates their mod, it'll automatically get sent to you and auto-download. Now that's how to install one mod, but what if you want to install one of these multi, you know, resource pack campaigns? Go into Levitation here. If you're downloading a mod on here, check if they have a collection listed below showing the parts of the campaign. So you go down here, it looks like they've done this pretty user-friendly right here, telling you what to click. But you hit subscribe to all, and it'll show a check mark here to confirm that you are subscribed. Then just pop on your VR headset and load up Half-Life Alex. So you're in the game, all you have to do is go to games, or even start new game. I'm gonna try to start the levitation mod here. So, you'd think it would just be as simple as, I wanna start playing that one. It's not, unfortunately, because they didn't design the UI for the mods too well. So here's where you manage add-ons. It's right down there. You click on manage add-ons, and this is where you select by completing the kind of circuit here. If it's lit up, it's on, it's like that, it's off. My rule of thumb that I would tell you is if you have a mod like Return to Rapture that has multiple parts, I would disable the other mods that you have anyway, because say that they have reskinned a pistol and you have another pistol mod already selected. I don't even know what's going to happen if you have two different ones selected, but that might get a bit uh, might get a bit sticky. So since I was playing Return to Rapture last, I'm going to have to go back in here and turn off all of these. And so you see Return to Rapture. They could have said Chapter Two in here at some point, but it's just RTR, which isn't really helping make their game easy to install. Now, now see Levitation. They <laughs> they thought of the user a bit more. Levitation. Part four and part five. There we go. And it seems, oh, I'll see if there's anything else pertaining to levitation in here. Doesn't look like it, so I think we're good. So now, you can even browse the workshop from right in VR if you want, but I prefer doing it on desktop. Then you go back. So now, if we go into this, Levitation 01 intro. You set up your settings however you want them, but then you hit start game with add-ons. And that means that you're starting the game with the add-ons that you've selected. And it'll ask you just for confirmation, it'll automatically put it into a slot that's not populated yet, but it still shows you which slot it's gonna put it in regardless. And that's pretty much all you have to do to enjoy the mods in Half-Life Alex. Now to clear up the confusion around Return to Rapture, they could have branded this differently. And honestly, the team from that, if you see this, some renaming of your of your stuff here might actually help get you some more downloads. Go to Return to Rapture 1. You'd think this is great, I found Return to Rapture, right? Wrong. Well, not exactly. Return to Rapture was released in two chapters. They didn't rebrand the first one to Chapter 1, they just call this one Return to Rapture, and then the second one Return to Rapture Chapter 2. But to further add to the confusion, this is Return to Rapture 1. Okay, well, what if I find, say, Oh look, Return to Rapture 2, 3, 4, how many versions of this did they make? Still just the same version. So this is eight parts to the same mod for Chapter 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search Rapture. So you see these two different mods uh, here. They've done a good job of at least branding all of them with the same thumbnail for each of them, but the names don't really match up too well. So go to Return to Rapture Chapter 2 if that's the one you want to download and then go to the collection and you'll see this huge collection right here. So if you're wondering which one to download and you're getting a little confused, just look at this and see Return to Rapture, that thumbnail, Return to Rapture Chapter 2, this thumbnail. In game when you're starting Chapter 2, it actually shows up as Folder 1 slash Arcadia slash Bio 1, which is just Further confusing, but if you're starting Chapter 2, that's the one that you actually look for. Now, if you ever load up a mod and you see these lines of text showing up that like, hey, you're missing these add-ons, you need to download this and that. The reason for that, and it's quite annoying, but you actually have to enable and disable each mod 
each time that you load up the save that requires those mods. So if you're playing Return to Rapture Chapter 2, you need to disable all of your levitation mods and enable all of the Return to Rapture Chapter 2 mods. If you want to be switching back and forth between them, like, oh, today I want to play Levitation, today I want to play Return to Rapture, I'd recommend just sticking with one so you save yourself some trouble, but if you want to be switching between them, that's how you do it. Something to note, though, is that Return to Rapture Chapter 2 does say that you need to disable all other add-ons. The reason for that is because they've reskinned and revamped so much of the game that almost any other mod that you download is going to not mix well with uh, what they've got going. So anyways, hope that clears up some confusion for people. Uh, I knew some people were having some troubles installing the mods for Half-Life Alex, especially the ones I was highlighting in the last video. So if that helped you out, uh, I'm glad. Otherwise, thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.